In this video, we will learn how to use XLOOKUP in the multiple sheets. What that means? Suppose I have some this invoice number and I have to search their sales amount. But I don't know that invoice number is covered and in data 1, data 2 or data 3. Let's begin how to get that. First, we will individually search in which source it is coming for you by using XLOOKUP. So this is XLOOKUP. In that, I have to use this lookup value. If you don't know XLOOKUP, I will share the link for the XLOOKUP video. You can watch there and learn how to use XLOOKUP. So first, I have this lookup value. My lookup array is invoice number column. I will select control space bar to select all the column. Then sales amount, selecting the all the column by pressing control space bar, bracket close. It is giving me an error. So again, I will search for the invoice number in data two, selecting the invoice number column and sales column by pressing control space bar or you can do by this by shift enter you can use it. I'm selecting all the columns bracket close is still not found. I will just search in data three invoice number. My lookup array is invoice number column. I have selected all the columns and then sales amount bracket close. So I'm able to find that it is available in data three. So what will be the formula where I will ask him to search in all the three database and wherever he found the result, first result, he will give me the result here. So for this, I will using the nested formula, which means I will use X lookup in X lookup. So let's learn how to do that. I will type, I just make it shorter to understand result. Now I will type the formula X lookup. Lookup value is this invoice number. Same way I asked him to search in data one. This is my invoice number and this is my sales amount. Now here is the trick. If not found. So here I can use again the X lookup. Suppose if the result is not found, he will again check for X lookup. Look up for the invoice value, which is A4. I can even type like this to make the formula shorter. Copy and look up array now down the data to invoice number column and then sales amount column. And now the third criteria again, I can use N number of time X lookup. Till I get my desired result. So I will type X lookup again. My lookup value is A4. And my return data is again I will check in data 3 invoice number, comma, sales amount. Close for the if not found condition. Close for X lookup. Right, it done. So see uh, the magic, I will get the result without any. He has searched in three database, data one, data two, and data three, give me the result. Let's check for all other things. Now, see, in the second case, it's available in data two, but I get the result. So by this way, you have N number of database. You don't need to have to merge the data. You can use nested XLOOKUP to get the desired result. Thanks for watching this video.